Hi, if you're a home buyer and you were looking for a home before the coronavirus, the pandemic very likely put a wrench in your plans. However, there are still buyers buying homes during the crisis. And if you're a home buyer or aspire to be one, here's what you need to know. So first of all, real estate has been deemed an essential service here in Los Angeles, but the rules of seeing properties are different. For instance, we're now allowed to do showings as long as the following protocols are met. We have to have anyone entering the home sign a disclaimer form. We need to follow proper social distancing protocols. Only three people are allowed in the home at once, and we have to wear shoe coverings, masks, and gloves, as well as do not touch any services. Our local MLS also has suggested that we only take out strong or pre-approved buyers. And of course, any prospective seller or homeowner can overlay their own rules on top. I've had some sellers request a pre-approval letter or proof of funds before opening up their property for showing, just to make sure the buyer is very serious. And a lot of times agents will request that the buyer views a virtual tour before they come into the home. The pre-approval process hasn't really changed that much. Buyers were already doing their applications online. However, if you got pre-approved a few months ago, some lenders have changed their standards, so it's a great idea to check in with your lender and make sure that you're still pre-approved. So one thing that has changed is the process during the escrow period. And going into escrow means the seller and buyer have an accepted contract and they're making all the steps that they do from now until closing. So one big difference in the escrow period is inspections. Very frequently, the buyer and their agent attend the inspection with the inspector, but now a lot of inspectors are requesting that they go through the property alone and then they FaceTime the buyer and the buyer's agent after the inspection is over so that the buyer can ask questions and they do the wrap up at that time for everybody's safety. So overall, the buying process has changed somewhat and some of these changes have actually delayed closings and escrows for a period of time. However, the California Association of Realtors has come out with lots of documents that help protect sellers, buyers, prospective landlords, and prospective tenants in case of any delays during transactions. So as long as you are prepared for some modifications and adjustments, you will be able to buy a home during this time should you choose. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.